Hi, I'm James Ritchie. I'm the Managing Director of Mindful Risk. And I'd love to share a little bit of my personal and business journey with you. And look, I'd always been a good communicator and a good critical thinker, and I'd certainly always enjoyed being around people and understanding people, trying to understand what makes them think and what makes them tick, and more importantly, what makes them um, decide on particular courses of action. So I think that naturally then led me into work health and safety and environment in the resources sector, and then ultimately over the course of the career in that space, it led me on to addressing risk at an enterprise wide level um, in both a government department sector context and also in a private sector context. What inspires me or gives me energy? I love being around people and I really love being around people that are committed to mastering their art, whatever that may be. Doesn't matter whether they're surfers, professionals, spear fishermen, astronauts. I just love being around people and I draw a sense of energy from being around people that are, are committed to what they do and genuinely enjoy what they do. What frustrates me about the world that I'd love to do something about? Look, I think, you know, we certainly take ourselves all far too seriously these days and I'd, I'd love to be part of lightening everyone up. But beyond that, I feel like we've lost our, our sense of community to a, to a significant degree and with that, we've lost our connection to each other. And we've certainly also lost our connection to our natural environment. And I feel like the indigenous races all around the world certainly have a lot to teach us in that regard in terms of getting back to our connection with our natural environment. And ultimately, I feel as though we've, um, I guess, realised or convinced ourselves that a world with poverty is inevitable, and I don't agree with that. So I'd love to be, love to be part of any solution that helps solve those types of problems. What's my vision for the world, and what role would I like to play in that? Look, my my vision for the world. I know it's quite lofty and a little bit idealistic, but that's that's what it's about. Um, look, I'd love to be part of shaping a world that is stable and sustainable and prosperous and where you've got a global standard minimum um, wage and a standard of living that creates an environment where everybody starts from the same starting line but having that also balanced by a really dynamic competitive private sector that rewards those that go the extra mile and doesn't play Robin Hood or try to strip that away from them. Ultimately I'd love to help end or be part of ending um, world poverty and be able to, I guess at, at the base of it all, create an environment where people are given the ability to make their own choice in life and to, I guess, you know, effectively self-determine where they go and not have those choices forced upon them by someone else. And the role that I'd love to be um, playing in that in terms of through the business Mindful Risk would be helping shape, analyse, um, improve and govern businesses that are working to create that vision. Okay, so why did I start my own business rather than doing something else? Look, I got to the point in a corporate career where I knew I enjoyed what I was doing and I felt I was fairly good at it, but I just noticed that I was becoming really stressed and very kind of grumpy with myself and angry with my wife and certainly short-tempered with my kids. And it got to the point where I think I'd maybe realise that if I hadn't done, didn't do something to change that, that quite frankly, I might have ended up with some sort of clinically diagnosed anxiety disorder. So I made a conscious decision to walk away from that, but to be able to um, continue to use the skills that I, I really enjoy, but in a way that I felt like I could deploy them to be more constructive for myself and ultimately more constructive for the businesses that I, I was working with. Is risk management an emerging profession? Look, I think, look, you know, risk management is as a professional um, role has probably really come to the fore post the global financial crisis and certainly post the Banking Royal Commission. Um, the processes behind what makes it a, a useful function for an organisation have been around in high risk industries like mining and um, highly regulated industries like healthcare, not for profit, aged care for you know, a very long time. And I think it's the, the skill set aren't necessarily a new thing but I think that the the function and the professional um, value seen in that role has certainly 
grows and continues to grow um, in a world that feels really volatile and complex and hard to comprehend. So what's the problem that we're trying to help you solve at Mindful Risk? So if you're a business in a highly regulated sector, whether it's healthcare, whether it's mining, doesn't really matter, you know that you've got to get your governance, risk and compliance systems right, or otherwise you potentially lose your ability to operate from a regulatory perspective, you risk fines, litigation, social outrage, you know, the public basically um, define your license to operate as well in those sectors. So where we come in is we know that those areas, they're complex, they're time consuming, they're things that you struggle to see the value add in, that you struggle to engage with, that you struggle to get the internal um, resourcing to meet the requirements for we can help you um, create that internal capability in a way that actually gives you a value add and hopefully makes it a little bit fun and engaging um, on what can be otherwise such a mundane and frustrating topic because look, you know, when it comes to risk and compliance, it's one of those things that you know you have to do it, but you'd rather not. And I'm the first one to admit that. So yeah, that's what we're looking to solve for you with Mindful Risk. Thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for listening to the video. If any of this makes sense to you or resonates with you, we'd always love to hear from you to continue the conversation. And don't forget, life's too short to take yourself too seriously. So make sure whatever it is you're doing out there, try to have as much fun as you can along the way. So thanks and catch you soon.